So this is my current desk setup right now. And I'm gonna be honest, not too happy with it whatsoever. I'm clearly not an interior designer. I have no idea what to do with my desk setup or my room in general. I have no posters on the wall, nothing like that. My room is boring. But I do know that I hate this desk setup. I don't like the way it looks, don't like the way anything flows in here. So I need to change it up. So what we're gonna be doing is moving it into this corner right over here, right beside the window. And we're gonna see how that works. Hopefully I like it a little better than this because I do not wanna move it back because this desk is a beefy one. Anyways, cue the music. This is kind of nice. All right, let's clean up the rest. Oh, so far, this is not that bad. I feel like this is gonna be the biggest problem here because the windows here, this is the best camera angle I can get and it completely shadows my face but other than that really really liking this i am liking this having the wall back here it's a green wall i could probably use it as a green screen or something like that maybe put the camera in front which i couldn't do before because the back of my desk was up against this wall right over here so now i have all that space behind my desk to be able to put the camera in front above my monitor, wherever I need to put it. Actually, let's test that out right now. Let's see what that looks like. I actually really like this because a lot of the time, there's a lot of stuff going on in the back of like my old setup. Like just have the wall behind me. Don't really have to mix and match too many things. I don't have to change anything up. The only thing I really need to worry about is lighting because clearly this window, like I am overexposed right now, but that's whatever that's fine setup is looking clean i'm loving it loving it still got to clean up the rest of my room right now i just moved around what was here previously just to the other side but it wasn't organized at all it's just over there so got to fix that got to move that around but other than that mint Pretty cool. Now this is something I've been excited for for a long time. It's something that I should have gotten way earlier, but I just didn't. And I have no reason for that. But now I have one. It is an ND filter and we are gonna put it to the test today, baby. And what better way to do that than go outside in the sunlight or just film around sunlight? Let's go do that. Now I know this might sound dumb, but I actually never eat breakfast. The only thing I do in the morning is literally take a poop and make some coffee. And that's what we're gonna do today, all right? We're making some coffee. And are you a real YouTuber if you're not making coffee in your videos? I don't think so. So let's get into it. Now I know you guys are used to YouTubers doing cool ways of making coffee like French press, espresso machines and all that kind of stuff. I don't have any of that. So we are going old school with some. It's terrible cop, it's instant, it's nice and uh, I'm used to it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So as you guys saw from the title of this video, it is called getting on track. And I've been trying to get on track for a while now, but it is a really hard situation for me because 
being derailed is not the only problem that I have here. The entire track beneath me has disappeared. I literally have no goals in life that I'm really like shooting towards at this moment. Honestly, I picked up a camera and started filming stuff with my friends and by myself just to create YouTube videos because my dream was to become a YouTuber and not just any YouTuber. I wanted to become a travel film maker, travel filmmaker, something like Sam Calder, Peter McKinnon, Nicholas Crystal, people that travel and document their travels and tell a story to us, the audience. I have been an audience member for so long, as long as I can remember, and I've always been passionate about it. And I've always thought that I would become the person that's in front of the camera showing everyone else the incredible stories that I can tell and the amazing footage that I can capture. But it's been two years now and I've left that dream in the dust. What I've been caught up in is freelance work. And honestly, most people with cameras nowadays are into freelance work. Once you get acclimated with your camera, you get really good and then people start to notice your skills and they're like, hey, why can't you film my wedding for me or take pictures for my engagement and stuff like that. And then, you know, you start getting money for this thing that you were just doing for free. And that is incredibly enticing. And I got very excited about the fact that when I started making money off of my camera, I was like, I do this for free anyways and now i'm getting paid this is insane i i love this i'm gonna be doing this for the rest of my life but i had no direction in the fact of what i wanted to be filming and working on and getting paid for i just kind of took everything and anything and now i'm kind of stuck with a bunch of projects that have been piling up that i haven't started yet because it's all projects that i do not have any interest in whatsoever i've purely been doing it for the money which is the worst thing to be doing and everybody that's ever in the space always tells you or any space for that matter to never do anything for just the money but that's all i've been doing for almost two years burnt out is not the term that i would use to describe what i've been feeling because burnt out means that once i get that fire back in me i'm gonna be excited to work on the stuff that i have in front of me that's not the case here i am not passionate about what i am working on right now and that is where i gotta shift my mindset or i gotta shift what i've been doing and really take some risks in life and try and go for the things that I want to accomplish. And I've realized that as much as I am a good cameraman and I know how to tell a story, I prefer to be in front of the camera. I want my story to be told and I have not been giving myself the time or the energy to be able to do that kind of stuff, to make YouTube videos, to really make content that I love. Honestly, being in this place right now of feeling lost and not knowing what my goal is with a camera and my career has caused me to not want to pursue any of my YouTube ideas because I'm like, none of those are making me money. None of those are going to matter in the long term. Why would I waste time doing that? And I've completely shut out that idea from my brain. I haven't actually done a video like this in so long. And this is my favorite type of video to make. I love just sitting in front of the camera and talking. So honestly, if you've been watching this video thinking that it's going to end with some kind of enlightenment or something that I've figured out that I am now trying to pursue, I don't have that yet. I'm actually making this video to see if it'll spark my interest in making YouTube videos in the first place again. Because it's always been there, but it's just been fizzled out a little bit, but I haven't even attempted it, so I don't know if I'm not about it anymore. So I gotta make some to realize if I wanna do this long term or not. So this is the first video I'm making. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Realistically, my end goal is to become a travel filmmaker. That is all I've ever wanted to be. It shifted from being a goal to a dream now, something that I feel is unattainable by me. And I don't know why that happened. I don't know where that switch came in, but it's time to revert back to my old confidence and get that juice flowing again, because I really think that it is something that I am capable of doing. I just haven't taken the steps to do it. So this is me taking my first step and I am planning on taking many more steps towards my goal. But for now, this is all I can do. Vlog my life, document what I do in real life. And honestly, it's kind of boring, but let's see if I can give it a little spin on it or at least make it look really nice for you guys to enjoy. I'm gonna get good, we'll get it done.